This video will show how to build, tag, and release a Java application as a Docker image uh, with the goal of deploying that image to a Docker swarm. The application is checked into GitHub. It is a Spring Boot application that's talking to a MySQL database that's running on AWS. The goal of the application is to basically collect data from uh, a Raspberry Pi device. Um, so I'll step you through the process of the infrastructure that's needed to uh, push the application through a, uh, a build process. I currently have the application running on uh, AWS and right now we're um, I'm running version 1.7.23 so the next uh, build that I'll, I'll do in the demonstration will um, increment that to build 1.7.24 I'll show you the um, the infrastructure that I have running on AWS to um, have this application um, built and released I have um, Jenkins and, and Nexus running together on a CI server as a CI server and then I also have a Docker machine running that'll be controlling my uh, Docker Swarm instances. The uh, the two Docker Swarm instances that I have that'll be running the application were spun up by Docker machine and then remotely controlled by Docker machine. So it's um, going to be running the app in uh, swarm mode on these two different instances. Uh, so I'll show you what the uh, how the application is set up in Jenkins. So the application is using Maven to do the build. And there's a special Maven plugin that I'm using to uh, version the application and uh, to get it released with uh, Docker. So normally when you run the uh, Maven release, you're running these uh, goals, these Maven goals, the release prepare and the release perform. What I've added is the uh, goal of the Docker file uh, build and how that uh, corresponds to the, the pom.xml file is um, Let me show you the, um, the the plugin. So it's called the Docker File Maven plugin, and what it's going to do is it's going to run uh, the Docker file when the build runs, and then push the image uh, to Docker Hub. This uh, Jenkins instance is also connected to uh, Nexus. So when the build is run, um, it's going to produce a jar file. So if you want to release that. Um, application as a jar file and if you're not interested in running docker um, you still want to have that application um, versioned and put into a binary repository like Nexus so the build will also push the, the, the binary jar file to Nexus as well alright so let's push the application through a, a build cycle so right now we're on build uh, 7 1.7.23 just like it was showing in the Swagger UI and that's all I'm going I'm to show in the application is just the, the Swagger UI uh, I won't get into the, the gory details of all the REST APIs it's the point is to basically show that the version number will increment when the, the application gets released so I'm going to push it through the build process using the Maven release plugin and I'll schedule a build and we can watch the build as it runs in Jenkins.
Okay, the build is complete. So now if I go back to Jenkins, the, pro the project uh, homepage, I'll see that uh, version 1.7.24 was built. Now what I want to do is verify that the source code in GitHub has been tagged, the jar file has been pushed to Nexus, and the Docker image has been versioned and released to Docker Hub. So we'll check uh, the source code first, and we'll look at the releases and uh, if you look at the tags you'll see that 1.7.24 has been uh, tagged so that's uh, we want to make sure that our source code that we're that we are releasing is uh, tagged in the source code repository so that's I, uh, that's been confirmed and if I now check my Nexus binary repository I should see that that jar file has been released. So if I look at my release repository, I can confirm that uh, one version 1.7.24 is has been released to Nexus. So if this application was, uh, if it were a jar file that um, if the intent was to be used as a library and you're sharing it with um, other developers, you would want to use something like Nexus to do that. So, uh, so that's been confirmed that uh, it's in the binary repository. Now I want to check Docker Hub to make sure that it's been versioned. And sure enough, uh, one version 1.7.24 has been tagged and pushed to uh, Docker Hub uh, two minutes ago, so we just ran that build. Uh, now I'll show uh, Portainer. So, so Portainer is a GUI that you can add on top of Docker um, Docker machine. So what I've done is the same inst the same EC2 instance that I'm running uh, Docker uh, machine on. I've simply spun up a Portainer instance, and that instance is I've registered an endpoint, which is um, my Swarm master that's running the application. So if I look at the services that are running, uh, and it's been deployed as a Docker service to the Docker Swarm, I'll see that um, that the image that's running, uh, it's it's my account in um, Docker Hub, and it's the the name of the application is Monitor ser Server. And the current version um, was the previous version that's running uh, 1.7.23. It's running on two um, instances, two Docker container instances in the service in the swarm, and uh, these are the ports that are um, have been published. So what I want to do is I want to upgrade that application to the new version that I just released, and so the goal will be to um, redeploy it, and then we can we should see this number this version number uh, be bumped up to 1.7.24. So what I'll do is I'll change this image number to 24 and apply the changes. And we'll just give that a second to redeploy. Okay, so the app has been redeployed and it's now registered as uh, version 1.7.24 on the uh, the application's uh, REST API page. So um, all uh, everything that I've uh, used to create the Docker Swarm, all the the commands and the scripts uh, that I've written, they're they're all spelled out in this. Uh, GitHub projects, and what I'll do is I'll just link this video into the project and uh, later on provide a diagram of the whole uh, release process.